So some crazy guy, and probably intelligence agencies behind him, have tried to has tried to assassinate Trump. They've managed to shoot him, but are they going to stop there? Think about it. If you're a sniper in an active warfare, think about a genuine real war. You miss your shot. They're completely onto you. Are you just going to sit there and let them shoot back? Or are you going to realize, okay, I missed it, they're onto me. I better, I better unload every single one of my bullets on them and get them all. Exactly. So now that they've failed, because it's going to backfire, you can't just shoot Trump, the most loved man in America, and get away with it. So you realize everything is on the table now. They have to take him out one way or another. They have to, they, he must be gone. They're sitting there thinking, we must remove Trump. And they're, of course they're going to do it, because you're not going to do anything about it, are you? Think about it. Every single one of these things that have happened recently is all one massive test. They tried it with COVID. Everybody, oh, everybody found out. Oh no, you, you finally realised that the COVID vaccine wasn't safe and effective. And 80% of you took it. Big pharma companies are still going strong. Still making profits. Your politicians get re-elected anyway. Not one person's in prison. None of you got your money back. None of you got help from the from your health services. So do they care? You all found out about Epstein. Everybody left, right, centre. People who don't care about politics. Everybody knows that Epstein didn't kill himself. Everybody knows. Everybody knows it was some sort of intelligence agency mission, operation, CIA, whatever it was. But nobody did a thing. Now they've just tried to assassinate Trump. What are you going to do about it this time? Are you going to stand there and do nothing? Because if you do, they're going to keep doing it again and again and again because they repeatedly do things like this and they never ever face the consequences so they'll continue doing it. Until they face the consequences of their actions. You're going to keep seeing things get worse and worse and worse. You're going to keep ramping things up until you fight back. Incrementalism, I think it's called. You're going to keep taking it up a notch. First it's, you know, a little inside job of removing Epstein. Then it's putting out poison shots. Then it's trying to assassinate the next president of America. What's it going to be next? What's it going to be next if you let them, if you let them get away with it? So to think we're just going to stop, no, that's it. No, that's not it. Until you do something, oh, a million likes on Twitter. Okay, have they faced any consequences? Is anybody from the CIA in jail for conspiracy to murder Trump? Is anybody from the Secret Service in jail for, you know, the head of it, for basically instructing his men not to shoot the guy until he's got Trump? No. So they're going to keep doing it. It's not some crazy thing to imagine. So you have to fight back. As Trump said, just after he got shot, he stood back up, unfazed. He shouted, fight, 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 didn't he? Are you going to do it or not? Because if you don't, trust me, they're going to go after them. They don't care about you finding out. Yes, if they try it a second time, then a third time, then a fourth time, and eventually pull it off. Yes, you'll all know about it. You'll all know they did it. They won't even call you conspiracy theorists. They'll probably admit it. But you still won't do a thing. So until you make them face the consequences of their actions, until you actually fight back, really genuinely fight back, it's only going to get worse. So fight for your country.